a show goes down. Useful ball forward. Charles to turn inside. Fabio Abrao playing for Jelson today up front. Below get the tackles in and immediately start to build their way forward themselves. This is Jallo again pushing across the halfway line. Useful but, ball uh, forward. Quite get the ball Chance to turn speak. inside. Fabio Abrao playing for Jelson today up front. Can below get the tackles in and immediately career. start to build their way forward Back themselves. Again. This is Jallo again Henry pushing across the halfway line, but uh, just Nicely couldn't quite done. get the ball underneath his feet. To know that the man outside him was running down the line. This is decent play, this from Angola. The shot comes in, perhaps a little optimistic though. Nicely done, and it's picked Still up by Isaac Carrera. Bills, Isaac Carrera again. Back again, and Henry Wilson. Geraldo probes forward. Nicely done. Matches good awareness to know that the man outside him was running down the line. It's his decent play. Not this from sweetness. Angola. The shot comes in. Perhaps a little optimistic though. The ball is bobbling. Still the pressure Geraldo builds though. Isaac Carrera again out to Trying Geraldo. To again, Geraldo's got time the, uh, to launch this into the box. Ball into the six yards. It's a box. little bit of a bumpy pitch, you have to say. It's not the smoothest. You see the way the ball is bobbling as Geraldo picks it up again. And that will Trying be to get to the byline again. It's not the. Uh, it's a bit of a scuffed ball into the six-yard box. Last defeat that Gambia suffered at home was in Africa Cup of Nations. Carrera looking for support at uh, the end of uh, last year when they lost. And that will be a Togo. Gambia throw. Last defeat that Gambia suffered at home was in Africa Cup of Nations qualifying at uh, the end of uh, last year when they lost against Togo got a quick look there at the uh, Gambia coach Tom uh, Sainty from Belgium it's been in uh, the job for just over a year now after initially being appointed on a nine year nine month contract it's been around a bit most recently as coach got of a the quick look there Malta. at the uh, Gambia coach See, Tom uh, Sainty from Belgium. Play. He's been in uh, the job for just over a year now He's after initially being appointed on, on a nine-month nine contract. After pulling down the uh, big number nine. He's been around a bit, most recently as coach of the national side of Malta. Cite again proving awkward to play. It was Wilson running away with a wry smile on his face. After pulling down the uh, big then, number nine. Lining things up with Tony... Cabasa ordering his troops around in the Angolan defence. It's a decent ball in as well, but it's well met. Still on the way. And there was a good opportunity on the edge of the box, but unfortunately Barrow just got a bit excited and Torre then lining up things up with shot. Tony Cabasa ordering his troops around in the Angolan defence. It's a decent ball in as well, but it's well met. Still on the way. And there was a good opportunity on the edge of the box, but unfortunately Barrow just got a bit excited and somewhat looked up as he took the shot. Primero de Agosto are the uh, champions again for the fourth year in a row, and uh, part of that is in part thanks to their goalkeeper, Tony Cabasa, who... Uh, is the number one for his nation as well. Primero de Agosto as well. are the uh, champions again for the fourth year in a row, and uh, Paizo, part of that is in part game. thanks to their Another goalkeeper, Tony Capasa, who uh, and, uh, is the number one for his uh, nation as well. Watch out as well for the uh, the youngster. It's not uh, the only one in this side as well, with Isaac as well also who, playing uh, today. He's bursting through on the Angola. Paizo dropped for this game. Later Another man of them. In the second who plays half. for them and uh, causing quite a stir around the country and indeed beyond as well. Watch out as well for the, uh, the youngster, 17-year-old uh, Zito Lovumbo, really who uh, is goal. bursting through on the Angolan scene at the moment. You might see him later get his debut in the second half. He's causing quite a stir around the country and indeed beyond as well 15 minutes gone though and still goalless yet to see really a proper shot at goal
Well, we're right over on the western coast of Africa for this game. Uh, the Gambia nicely nestled in between Senegal and Guinea-Bissau. Guinea-Bissau who are involved in this uh, first round of qualifiers. Senegal uh, straight well, we're right over the on the western stage. coast Don't of Africa for that. this game. Uh, the Gambia nicely defeat. nestled Against in between Algeria Senegal in and, and Guinea-Bissau. Guinea-Bissau Guinea who are involved in this uh, first round of qualifiers. Senegal uh, straight through to the group stage. Don't have, have to worry about that. Of course, they are still licking their wounds after that final defeat against Algeria in the Africa Cup of Nations. And Again, Gambia have another free kick sent in by Toure and again met by Angola an Angolan head. South. It's been a long old journey for Angola to uh, get here from Luanda. A little bit out of control on that. From uh, their country, which is between Namibia, Zambia and the Democratic Republic of Congo. On the same level as uh, Comoros, who uh, were playing earlier today. Here comes Wilson, feeds it forward to Mateus. Nice technical play, but that's gone out on the far side for a throw in. No, it hasn't. Well, the, I thought I heard the whistle, but they have continued on and here comes Geraldo. And again, uh, no one has quite got their radar hooked in yet as to where the goal is. Shot at each end and both have gone skyward rather than goal bound. Only seen uh, three teams so far win away from home in these uh, qualifiers. Mozambique, one of them. They won in Mauritius. Mozambique looking to qualify for the World Cup for the very first time. Uh, they would certainly settle, I think, to start with for making it into the group stage. It's a, a tough old road for the African nations. It's a long one as well. And, of course, many other competitions to get involved in as well with the Africa Cup of Nations and the African Nations Championship which is like the Cup of Nations but only for domestic players in Africa doesn't include all those that have uh, gone off to uh, make their fortunes and fame in foreign lands Sinyan going down on the edge of the area and drawing the uh, referee's whistle and he's now telling them to uh, wait for the next one. Sinyan is there, but also Jalo keen to take this spot kick, or this uh, free kick, excuse me. And again, another job for Tony Kabasa to uh, get his wall lined up and all the defenders as well, picking up the men, trying to get the headers. Now then, I wonder if they've managed to do something on the training pitch ahead of this match that they can put into operation here, the home nation. And it goes in from Barrow, but uh, it pinged around the box before coming back out again. Sona tries to get it back into the area, but it's uh, pinged out by Nurio Fortuna. Still not away, though. Ebbs and flows in this game so far. Angola taking their chance to get forward, and then Gambia also getting forward as well. Both sides showing good ambition, but 20 minutes gone. Still Gambia nil, Angola nil. And that's going to be a foul going into the attacking area of the opposite end. Getting mixed up there, Jallo and uh, Fortuna.
That's far too close. The goalkeeper who then came and missed it, and Wilson on this near side had a half chance, shall we say, probably a quarter chance, to be honest with you, to do something with that header. Goalkeeper chose to come and then didn't get there. Angola uh, don't score many goals. Of late, they uh, drew with Eswatini, formerly Swaziland, in the African Nations Championship at the uh, beginning of this month after a 1-1 draw with them the week before. All that heading towards the uh, finals later in the year. Were supposed to be in Ethiopia, the African Nations Championship finals, but uh, Ethiopia didn't manage to get themselves organized in time, so they have now gone to Cameroon. Who incidentally lost the African Nations Cup finals, and when they couldn't get their organization together either, and the finals were transferred to Egypt. At a fairly late stage. Already a bit of uh, prompting for the Angolan players. From Pedro Gelselves, their interim coach. Controversial end to uh, Serjan Vasilevic's tenure in charge of uh, Angola when he refused to take charge of last month's African Nations Championship match against Eswatini. Serbian reportedly denied his wish to pick a full-strength side by the uh, Federation who demanded that he give experience to the under-23 players. It became an untenable situation and the Serb left and Pedro Gonzalez came in. Play back underway again and uh, Bastos has it at the back. Feeds it into uh, Heron Nielsen. Play given away and Barrow gets it underway straight away, finds Cisse. But it's a good tackling back by Bastos. Nevertheless, the centre forward appreciated the uh, quick thinking by his teammate to get that ball down the line. This is show. Can't find any runners at the moment, so feet it square instead. Forward by Henry Nielsen. Freddie, back to uh, Isaac Carrera. Wilson, forward into the path of... Uh, Carrera again. It's an inviting ball down the line for Nuro Fontana, and he keeps it in as well. Geraldo charts in the middle. Important block by the one red shirt that was in the way of three Angolan attackers. Angola not finished yet, though. Forward it comes again. Freddy. Almost a nice back heel. Oh, and show that's just bounced over his head. And it's allowed Jalo to fire forward. What an atmosphere there is here in the Independence Stadium. Matthias, and uh, that drifts behind and will be a goal kick. Gambia need a victory. They uh, have not achieved one in their last five outings. Angola, who uh, have uh, drawn their last 
two, but they lost against Iswatini on penalties in the Africa Nations Championship. Got to go back to the victory over Guinea-Bissau to see the last time that the Palencias Negras won. Cissé's on his bike again and he could be in. Oh, he's gone down and he's gone behind and he's furious. Well, that time I don't think he dived. I think that was just desperation to try and get on the end of that ball and bringing the crowd to their feet. Route one football over the top, using his pace. Goalkeeper came and missed it. And Cissé just unable to keep his feet to make that killer blow. One of the players who was suspended for that crucial final Africa Cup of Nations game against Algeria was uh, Hassan Cissé, the uh, FC Zurich man. Well, Gambia might be well-ranked below Angola, but they are giving them a run here in this first half. Halfway through, and Gambia still yet to break through. Cissé having a word, I think he thinks the referee is uh, not giving him help when he's inside the area. Gambia still goalless against Angola in this first half. Slightly wasted ball forward, and Fabio Abrao lets his teammate know his frustration. Fabio Abrao, who plays his football in uh, Portugal. Probably not surprising that there are close links between Angola and the Portuguese. That's nicely done. And an invitation for Isaac Carrera to come forward. Back from Geraldo, that was almost given away. There by Henry Heron Nielsen who's had a pretty solid half other than that so far. Nicely intercepted by Freddy. Gets Angola going forward again, but uh, that was a slightly hopeful ball looking for Abrao. Oh, that nearly turned into an assist for the centre forward. In the end, it just harmlessly went behind for a goal kick. Angola pushing forward, Isaac Carrera couldn't quite get that ball underneath him and allow the challenge to come in that in from Torre. It's an energy about this game so far. In Bacal. In by Isaac Carrera, straight back out again though in the middle. It'll be a throw in to Angola. Comes to Heron Nilsson who has been given the time to cross it and hasn't done a great job considering the time he had. On the other side, though, picked up by Nurio Fortuna. He's got pressure, though, from Jallo, who's tracked back to help out his right back. It's going to be a free kick. Jello seemed to be guilty of an infraction here, pulling back the uh, shirt of the Angolan left back. Big men in the middle, ready to receive this free kick from Freddy. Again, it's a bit high, but it's right in! 
and Angola take the lead. And it's Wilson who was on the end of it. They had one moment before where they sent a deep ball to the back post and Wilson was unable to get there. But that was the dress rehearsal and Angola take the lead with a great header. That was a swirling ball into the six yard box. And the game that all had everything except the goal has now got it. Gambia nil, Angola won, and the goal you have to say was coming. We just didn't know which end it would come at. So then Wilson Gaspar, who plays for the uh, Angolan champions, Petro Atletico. Picks up the first goal for his side, and now that makes it very interesting. Petro Atletico, who were last champions back in 2009 when they won back-to-back -back titles. We've seen Primero de Augusto, though, take over in recent years, the uh, fellow Luanda side. And Luanda is where the second leg will take place in just a few days' time. Now then, Gambia, how will they react to that? They started off brightly. Will their confidence be shaken, though, by going behind against a team that is ranked 39 places above them in the FIFA World Rankings? Angola went to the Africa Cup of Nations earlier this year in Egypt, but uh, finished third in their group behind Mali and Tunisia. Caused a huge national debate back home why they weren't able to go through. They see themselves as one of the big guns in African football, but their results have not always uh, matched up to those ambitions or aspirations. And they will see themselves, really, as a team that should be fighting for those five places to go to Qatar in three and a half years' time. Big job ahead, though. Not least of which, the rest of this game and the second leg of this preliminary round of qualifying. Here they come again. Freddie gets some space. Freddie goes for goal, and it's blocked. Well, it opened up nicely there, and again, it looked as though he just scuffed the shot. If he'd hit it through, he would have probably been able to curl that round the uh, defender. Right, so Gambia here have been a little bit shell-shocked, and it's all Angola at the moment as we head towards the 10 minutes to go in the first half, Mark. Captain Matthias just uh, upended. And the first yellow card. Long ball forward, but this time Cisse is not onto it. Fed inside for Sinyan, who gives the ball away, and Angola can come forward again. Geraldo, no way there to get past Sinyan. So instead comes back, plays it safe. Freddy looks for the ball out wide. 
picked up by Nuro Fortuna, but uh, lost his footing doing it. And Gambia can uh, neatly play their way out, or can they? Slightly uh, over the top back heel. Here comes Freddie again. Freddie goes down and another free kick and uh, another yellow card will come out. Freddie coming in, and you can see there that uh, Sona just couldn't help himself. He joins in uh, Mateus in the book. One yellow card for each side now. Job just uh, lining up his players. He was the man in goal for both of the last uh, World Cup qualifying campaigns as well. Problem is with uh, the World Cup qualifying the way it is in Africa is that if you don't make it through this first qualifying round, that's it for the next four years. So you play twice and that's it. You have to wait again for it to come around. Small nations in European qualifying, of course, go straight into the groups, and so they get a, a fair amount of exposure to uh, international football at this world level. Not so in Africa. Geraldo with the shot. It's a decent free kick, and it's palmed away by Job. Corner kick to Angola. Relatively straightforward save in the end. You would expect him to have got that. Corner kick. Geraldo himself has come across to take it. Into Freddy. Geraldo's got time, but it's a rather lofted and not very dangerous. Pulling back by Nuro Fortuna. Gives Gambia the free kick. That's onside. The referee, though, is not happy. And wants the uh, free kick taken again. Element of surprise has been lost then for the home side. Richter is uh, going to be the man to take it in a slightly more measured way this time. Well, it's lofted forward, but there wasn't really an awful lot of uh, poise in that. Or indeed, uh, Endeavour. Not quite sure what he thought he was trying. It's a better ball forward, though, from Sané. Cissé feeds it into the middle where uh, Sinyan is waiting. Now Barrow. Barrow, well, it was good defending in the end, I suppose you have to say, from uh, Isaac Carrera. Wasn't the most composed piece of wing play, though, by the Gambia front man. See there, though, good play by the Angolan. Just fed him along the line and... Uh, Almost convinced him into the error. Five minutes to go until half-time. Gambia trailing by one goal to nil against Angola. Angola somewhat in charge, but Gambia beginning to get over the shock of that. Uh, conceding that goal with Barrow on possession, and uh, the referee is blown. Cissé has had a lonely, frustrating time up front so far in this first half. And Tom Saintif will have a little bit of reorganising to do at... Uh, Half-time, I think. He was a man who only lasted two training sessions as Zimbabwe coach back in 2010 before being deported for not having had a work permit. He certainly knows Africa, though. He's been around in Namibia, Zimbabwe, Ethiopia, Malawi and Togo. This is his sixth coaching job with an African team inside the last 10 years and his 14th overall.
Must need more pages for his CV than most. Here come his Gambia side forward again, though. They would very much like to get the equaliser before half-time. And the goalkeeper, Tony Cabasa, just about got there. Back to the goalkeeper from Colley, the uh, Gambia skipper. Now, what's going on here? Well, it's because Kasapa is down. Well, I wasn't aware that Kabasa got hit in the face as he came out for that punch. Well, he's saying it's an elbow, but uh, to be honest with you, if you can explain what happened to you, you're probably not that badly hurt. Well, the ball came in, Cissé went up, so too did Barrow, and you can see there, there was an arm come out. But he's a big boy, I'm sure he'll be fine. Into his chest, so... Uh... Well, there's been no official drinks break, but I'm not surprised that the players want to have some hydration. Well, this was the goal. It's a very well-controlled header from Wilson at that far post and you can see there was definitely a, a tactic there because they tried that same free kick about 10 minutes before the goalkeeper came for it and missed it and you can see again here he didn't really know where it was and Wilson was there to uh, take full advantage So there we go. So it seems, as we thought, Tony Gabasa is fine to carry on. Forward by Show. Again, they're going down that left hand side. Freddie. It's good overlapping play here, taking the markers away from the man in the ball, on the ball. Show again, feeds it in to Heron Nilsson. Freddie Abrao in the middle, but it's come behind him and uh, it's picked off by Sané. Not the best uh, ball into the box and Gambia can again come forward, but good tackling from Heron Nilsson. Gets it back immediately for the visiting side. Angola steadily and slowly taking over this uh, first leg. It looks more like them as the home side now rather than Gambia not the best piece of control in the middle but uh, fortunately for show he was the judge to have been fouled by Sona coming through the back of him who was already on a yellow card the number 15 for Gambia so he's got to be careful when you're coming through the back of a player. Two minutes of uh, added time at the end of the first 45 minutes here in back out. It's the first half that seems to have flown by. Both sides contributing to the entertainment. Angola at the moment, though, in the ascendancy. If Cissé can do something about it, though, he will. Here he comes. Haven't seen very much from him since the first 10 minutes. He goes down again. This time, though, it might have been... A bit of a pantomime fall, but it was a foul. Heron Nilsson, the man, a judge to have committed the unfair and illegal challenge. So then Barrow lofting it to the back post, same tactic as at the other end, and it's a goal kick. <laughs> the referee looked like he might have been pointing towards the uh, 
the penalty spot. But uh, And I think that's what maybe some of the Gambia players thought he was doing. But it was actually a goal kick he was uh, signalling. Bastos will be uh, taking a big sigh of relief. See, it came to the back post. The header came back across. I don't see how you could really see that as a, uh, a penalty kick against uh, Nurio Fortuna. He had his back to the ball. Nevertheless, the, uh, the rules over handball at the moment are uh, very much a topic of debate. Wilson racing back and uh, Cabasa gets his foot through it. It's a nice turn from uh, Sona, but he's turned into trouble and now Freddy has come away with it for Angola. Probing midfielder, feeds it off, and uh, that's not the best first touch from Isaac Carrera, but he has kept it in. Entertaining first half comes to an end here in Bacow. Gambia started off the half in the ascendancy. Cissé proving a problem for the Angola defenders, but in the end, the goal coming at the other end from Wilson from a deep free kick to the back post. Goalkeeper lost, and at half-time... It is Gambia nil, Angola one. Second half should be a good one here in back out. Did 
to get through this knockout stage they need to get through the group stage as well if they make it that far and then if they get through that there's another knockout stage on the back end of the group stage before they can finally take a place with four other teams to make up the five african sides that will go to the world cup in 2022 in qatar start off this second half then with a goal advantage thanks to the goal by wilson about two-thirds of the way through the uh, first 45 minutes. Gambia started off the uh, game uh, very strongly indeed. Plenty of ambition, endeavour. They got forward. Cissé was proving to be a handful for the uh, back four. Nuro Fortuna, Bastos, Wilson and Isaac Carrera for Angola. But uh, they lost their way a little bit as we see a substitution at the beginning of this second half. And uh, Ibrahima Koli 
coming on for Omar Colley. Skipper. Ibrahim Akoli, who plays for Atalanta in Italy. And getting a first touch on the ball straight away. So it's the uh, skipper who's gone off. And uh, the uh, coach is going for a slightly more attacking lineup for this second 45 minutes. So taking off a uh, defender and bringing on a midfielder. So he's gone to uh, four in the middle, three at the back. Try and push forward with wing backs, I suggest, down the, uh, the flanks and uh, try and get round the back of these Angolan defence. That was Freddy just drawing the foul for Angola. Matthias is offside. The Angola captain. Well, another Portuguese speaking nation, Mozambique, uh, were one of uh, three away sides to have already won in this uh, opening round of competition as the ball goes straight forward. Cissé can't pick it up. Barra was almost there, but didn't quite manage to get on the end of it. And Angola have got away with one there. Straight away, though, back up the other end. Looking for Fabio Abrao, who uh, didn't have an awful lot to feed off in the first 45 minutes up front for the Angolans. That's gone a little bit too far for uh, Richter to uh, pick up. Nuro Fortuna looks forward. Picked up by uh, Matthias, but didn't quite have it there. And then the wayward shot by Geraldo goes high and wide. Toronto had a free kick saved, uh, approaching half time just after the goal had gone in. Forward by the substitute, Colley. And that's a, a foul in favour of uh, Heron Nielsen, who overall had a pretty good first half in midfield. Just uh, pulled back by uh, Jalou. Lamine Jalla, who uh, plays in Italy as well, uh, for Salamentana. One of those who was suspended for the uh, last game against Algeria. Had scored three of the Scorpions' goals in qualifying until then. Uh, five goals, so he was a, a big miss in that final game. Oh, Nuro Fontorno knew he'd done something wrong the moment that he jumped out for that ball. Sona, yellow carded in the first 45 minutes. Comes back to Richter. Nice little piece of play and uh, crowd are lifted by that little bit of technicality from their side. There's a end product as well as they push further forward into the Angolan half. Colley gets to the byline and just enough of the pace was taken out of it. But that's encouraged the home for the waters. Richter forward again, Colley 
already showing himself to be busy since coming on at the half-time interval. A little too busy, though, coming through the back of Nuro Fortuna there. A little uh, wry look to the assistant. He got the, uh, the decision, Nuro Funciana. He knew that it was coming, the, uh, the challenge, and you can see it pulling on Colley's uh, shirt as well. So uh, he wasn't exactly innocent in all that. Most of the Gambia side play abroad. There's nobody uh, from the uh, Brikama United side in Gambia who won the, uh, the league title last season. Here's Colley. Again, he's picking up a lot of possession since coming on. Feeds it back inside and it's uh, fed on by Sinyan. Richter looks up and plays forward. Colley again, he's picked it up well and uh, good tackle though comes in on him. Fry show. They've given up possession again though. Matthias showing his frustration, the skipper. Richter. And uh, well, that was a little bit ambitious by Sona, who now wonders uh, what he was trying. Looking for Freddy, and uh, the ball intercepted. Gambia can start to build from the back again. Useful looking ball forward, beautiful ball forward. Real chance here for Gambia, and it's straight at the goalkeeper from Jallo. Can you believe it? He had all the time in the world there, and he can't believe it. What an opportunity. Beautiful ball over the top. It's a beautiful first touch as well from the forward, but he just seemed to almost have a... Magnet attached between the ball and the goalkeeper. Best chance of the game for Gambia by ma a far margin. And this time it goes behind. Cissé can't keep it in. Signs of hope though for the home side. Here comes Angola again, though. Nicely done. Into Geraldo. Geraldo looping it onto this far side to find the opposite winger, Mateus, who's still going. Trying to get to the byline and does. It's a useful ball into the middle and an important header. Comes back out again, though, but it's uh, not hit well by Bastos. In fact, my apologies to Bastos. It was uh, Heron Nilsson who uh, tried the volley which did not work. Isaac Carrera will look into the box again for this long throw, but he tries to take it short instead to Freddie. Need to get the ball back again, Gambia. And they have. Chance here for the break. Ooh, well, that's a yellow card coming straight out of the pocket of the referee. <laughs> Cissé didn't realise it was his own teammate. Well, you're not hurt, get on with it. You can see there. It was not a good challenge, though, was it? Goodness me. Not a good challenge at all.
More like WWE wrestling, that one. It was actually Sané who was uh, taken off for Collie to come on. The other Collie is still on the pitch. Here comes Nuro Funchana. They are not chasing out of their uh, penalty area quick enough here, and Angola being invited to come forward. Goalkeeper should get this one, and does Job. Signed recently by uh, the Jeddah Club of uh, Saudi Arabia. Scorpion's first choice goalkeeper joining the second tier side as a free agent after the end of his two-year contract with the Nigerian side El Kamami Warriors. It's nicely taken down. By Richter and then feeds it back in. to his team at Mohamed Mbai. Well, it was a determined uh, header by Heron Nilsson, but uh, led with the elbow through the back of uh, the Gambia attacker and so it's a free kick in a central position in an attacking part of the field for Gambia. Ibu Toure. Lining this one up, the left back. But he's not alone as we head towards the hour point. Referee making sure everybody's aware of what's going on, and it's a bricked shot of goal that goes sliding past the near post. Well, they're beginning to create more and more danger, our Gambia. Still nothing to really cheer about yet, though. Fabio Abrao, good turn from the uh, Angolan centre forward, feeds it into Matthias. Freddie wants it, but uh, it comes back the other way, though. Chart on that far side, it's. Uh, Heron Nilsson lays it out to the right wing. There are men in the middle if they can be found. Freddie picks it up on this near side now. In by Fortuna. And an overhead kick, and it'll go behind for... Well, it'll actually an offside has been called against the Angolan centre forward, Freddie Abrao. Fabio Abrao there. So it'll be a free kick to clear their lines for Ghana. Could have been pretty spectacular. Freddie Brown, who plays for Moriense in Portugal. And, uh, well, I thought there for a second that uh, Jalo had talked himself into a yellow card. Referee motioned to go to his pocket and then changed his mind. Gambian's just beginning to get perhaps a little bit frustrated as the clock ticks past the hour mark. Into Freddie, Fabio Brown again. Now Freddie. 
Angola still winning this one on points and indeed in terms of goals and there's almost a chance in there as Job drops the ball but then uh, recovers it at the second attempt. Dropping back Angola and allowing Gamba to come forward, but that's a loose ball out to the uh, left wing that uh, gives up possession. Well, this Angola side looking to get back to the uh, the heights that we saw from the likes of Flavio and Gilberto and uh, Aqua. Played in that golden generation that went over the millennium. Beginning to be challenged now in terms of appearances for Angola from Job, the goalkeeper, and Mateus, the captain. And this is Gambia on the attack, though. Shot goes a goal and it's just slid wide. Cabasa just about getting enough on it to put it past the far post. Great incisive play here from Gambia and Cisse there. Really another foot wide of the keeper and he might have been celebrating the equaliser. Ibrahim Akole though has the chance to send in the corner kick. And it's straight onto an Angola head. Not out of the penalty area yet though. Eyes... Well, the shot came in from Toure, but it wasn't the most convincing. Well, Cissé's come as close as any Gambian to uh, getting on the score sheet this evening. That wasn't the best uh, kick out, and it'll go straight out for a throw in to the home nation, which uh, Colley takes straight away. Ibrahim Akoli, that is. Now to the other Colley, Omar. Cisse tracking back into midfield to link up with the ball forward. Richter under pressure from Matthias and beating his man Colley again here coming forward there's well there was an opportunity for the ball out to the uh, left wing it's finally made it there but perhaps not at the right time because the Angolan defenders have managed to regain their shape safely played out but over the top of Freddy Richter picks it up again for the home side not the best ball forward, though. Well, it's become a bit more of a slugfest now after the uh, technicality of earlier in the game. The quality has uh, a little bit uh, dissipated, but it's become a little bit more direct. Richter is off then. And uh, he has been... Uh, Replaced by uh, Suleiman Bojang. Suleiman Bojang, who plays in Norway for Kongsvinger. Gambia beginning to pose a better threat now. Now he comes in by Tony Cabasa. Met though by a Gambian head, but it finds its way into the possession 
of Heron Nilsson, who gets it back again into show. Just a little bit of possession football going on in midfield now from Angola. Here's the goal scorer, Wilson. Forward to the captain, Matthias. Matthias has got space in front of him. Nurio Fortuna. Tackled, though, by his opposite number, Bojang, who's just come on. And Bojang... And what's the referee given? Which way has he given the foul? Robust piece of play from the two number twos. So then it's the uh, skipper, Matthias, who's coming off. And he will be replaced by Makaya. Jose Makaya Ganga is a full name. Forward by Bojang, but uh, given away and picked up by the away side as they uh, look to alleviate the pressure. There's an Angolan player down, but uh, his teammates are carrying on regardless. Isaac Carrera. Heron Ilsen into Freddy. Again, Freddy has got space in front of him. Little slip at the vital moment, but nevertheless, the attack keeps on going. Decent ball into the middle, but perhaps Freddy is not the man you want to be jumping in the air. You need a slightly more statuesque, taller man looking for that header. Rather than uh, Freddy, who's more of a play with his feet playmaker. Freddy takes the corner. Geraldo. Oh, and it nearly popped in, and it still might. Now, what's happened there? I think he's going to book the Angolan player for diving. Freddy Abrao, not impressed. He certainly jumped into the challenge. And I wonder whether or not there might actually have been a foul there, but because of the way he reacted, he made it look as though he... You see here, comes in. Well, if he hadn't been quite so theatrical, maybe he might have got a different result. But he certainly advertised to the referee that it was a dive. And in he goes to the book. Bojang. Nicely done. And Bojang runs into space, heading towards goal. He got a heavy touch, though, but does find the pass to Cisse. And it comes to Sona. Spread wide, but not very well. But Angola immediately conceding possession. Sonar will be given a second opportunity. And again, waste that one as well. But Angola doing their best to keep this Gambia attack going. Colley, nicely done. Sonar again. This time he does find a teammate. Sinyan, plenty of men in the middle. Cisse is one of them. And he's gone wide. Great build-up play from Gambia. Angola certainly did their part by not clearing their lines. But in the end, when the ball came in, and it was a good ball from Sinyan, Cisse rose highest, but unfortunately for him, unable to get the direction on the effort at goal. And it remains... Gambia nil, Angola one with 20 minutes to go. Freddy now into Geraldo, gets the ball back and there's a chance here. Fabio Abrao had it and just couldn't quite control it. Action at both ends, but no goals.
Sonar. Well, it's opening up now as we head into the last uh, 19 minutes. Uh, not the uh, most controlled ball by Jallo. Down goes Cisse again. And uh, is the referee still not going to give C the uh, Gambia centre forward any joy at all with his decision making? He's furious. Can't believe it. And now he's having a go at the assistant. Well, you can see there, he certainly looked to me as though he got a kick. And the new man on. Macao, a little fortunate, I think, perhaps, there. Bojang looking deep into the area, trying to launch this one long, try and turn this throw in into a cross. Not bad. And a spectacular effort that nearly went in from Collie. But Kabasa saw it all the way. Just didn't release as naturally as perhaps he might. And it kind of took the power out of the effort, but it was still nice technique. On target, could have resulted in a goal. Still, Angola remain in front. Freddie showing determined play under pressure, feeds it out to Isaac Carrera. Hera Nilsson. Back to doing their nice little triangle passes, but Terry Nilsson has lost it, and now all of a sudden Gambia can hair forward again. Here comes the centre forward, Cisse again, and it needs another save from Kabasa. And he's furious with his defenders for exposing him that way. Well, the battle between Cisse and Kabasa now really beginning to warm up. Again, they're giving up possession in midfield, which is allowing Gambia to come hairing through at them. Two chances in a matter of minutes then for uh, Cissé and he's not been able to take either of them. Had a shot saved as well earlier in the half as uh, Gambia get ready for another substitution. We're going to see the introduction of Bubakar Job. And the man he's going to replace is Lamin Jallo. Pupakar Job, who plays in Sweden. For Mjelby. And he comes on with around about 15 minutes to go to try and make a difference here and rescue this tie for the Gambians. Cisse again gets round the back of the defenders. He's had a very good time of it, hassling. He's been a very awkward player to be able to mark, he's strong and powerful and quick. And he might well have had a couple of goals on another day, except for some excellent goalkeeping by Tony Cabasa in the Angolan goal. Pressure beginning to build though, the screw beginning to turn on the Angolan defence and Isaac Carrera makes the challenge and gives away the corner. Home fans now really beginning to get behind their side. They've really been lifted by the introduction of Collie, the number 19, on its almost into the box. Sola can't get there. And a spectacular volley that needed to be tipped over the top from Collie. Well, it wasn't the most clean of connections, but it nearly caught out the Angolan keeper. And that's really got the home fans going.
Another corner, though. Not the best delivery, but it's come out onto this near side where Badamosi takes it. And the referee blows to relieve the pressure on Angola. Well, this would have been a very strange goal. He volleyed that straight into the ground and it spun up and nearly caught out the Angolan goalkeeper. But he did keep his eye on it, to be fair on him. Well, the outfield has put Angola in front, but it's definitely the goalkeeper that has kept them in front. We're going to see the introduction of uh, the youngster, Lovumbu, but not before Gambia take on another attack here. The referee is blown. Baramosi going through the back of a defender and sending him straight into the goalkeeper. And a big moment here coming up for the youngster, 17-year-old Zito Andre Luvumbo. Man who had a trial at uh, Manchester United's academy back in February and has been uh, followed by uh, quite a few European clubs recently. And he comes on for his debut in the senior squad. And gets a few wise words from the more experienced Freddie. Off goes the goal scorer, Wilson. Excuse me, no, Wilson is still there. And we are underway again with Angola hanging on. And I mean hanging on to their one goal advantage with 11 and a half minutes to go. Nervous faces on the Gambia bench. They do not want to go behind in this tie, particularly in the home leg. It will put enormous pressure on them to come up with something in Luanda next week. Bojang feeds it back. Bojang again takes it short. And uh, that'll be a free kick for the uh, push in the back on Colley. He's been everywhere, Ibrima. Uh, Colley, since he came on in the second half, all over the place, right side, middle of the part, left side. He's uh, really trying to drive his side onto this equaliser. Here he comes with the free kick. Good delivery, but uh, punched away confidently by the goalkeeper. <laughs> and uh, that pile of bodies on the floor will result in a free kick to Angola. Real sandwich. I don't think there's anything malicious from it. Uh, Musa Barrow and uh, Freddie debating uh, what happened in that uh, challenge. Musa Barrow, who plays with Ibrima Colley at uh, Atalanta. One of those who have uh, missed the last few matches due to injury and suspension. 
along with the likes of Jallo, who has gone off, and uh, uh, San Cisse, who's been so close to getting the equaliser in this game. Number of this uh, Angola side uh, play their foot club football in Italy. There's a yellow card given to Cisse. I did wonder whether he would get one at some point. The frustration inside the Gambia centre forward has been building steadily ever since he was denied a penalty appeal early in the first half. Fabio Abrao just about keeping it going and uh, it's fed down the line and Lovumbo getting his first touch in senior international football gets the cross in but it's easily dealt with by the Gambian defence. And again, and uh, the youngster has uh, got his side a corner kick. Fumbu uh, plays with the uh, the champions of uh, Angola, Primero Augusto, who are fairly dominant in recent years. Here's Freddie, lots of room for Freddie. And again, double shot, and in the end, it's just a goal kick. Well, that's a wasted uh, opportunity there. Real chance there for Freddy, who plays his club football in Turkey for Antalya Sport. And he should have really hit the target with one of those shots. You'd have to say you would think that uh, another goal for Angola in this game and it's going to be very, very tough for Gambia to come back in the second leg, which is away in Angola next week. Gambia corner. Headed out by Makaya. Picked up by Lovumbo. And he's now decided to go straight for goal himself. Here comes the 17-year-old. And he's got something at the end of it as well. Good composure from the youngster. Laying it back, that'll be a free kick. More time will be ticked off as uh, Geraldo earns inside a set play. Showing good strength and uh, good composure too. Freddie. Looking in for Lovumbo, but it was uh, far too much on it. Collie dropping all the way back to help out with the uh, instigation of the next attack. Cisse trying to be a little too clever, and Wilson just picked his pockets. Here's Lovumbo, more space for the youngster to run into, and he's still going. This time, though, he's, uh, he didn't seem to know quite what to do with it at the end of that run. There's almost nobody in midfield at the moment on either side. And here come Gambia again with five minutes to go, but still trailing by one goal to nil here in Bacau. And you can feel the anxiety amongst the, uh, the public that have turned up to watch them today. All of that enthusiasm at the beginning, beginning to uh, dissipate. Fabio Abrao and Lovumbo again. Not an awful lot of closing down going on at the moment from the Gambia defence. Lovumbo gets a dangerous ball in, but it's well dealt with by Job in the Gambian goal. He gets things going again. Urgency, but it's too urgent. And it's dealt with by Wilson. Gambia now in a hurry. Colley. Torre can feel the nerves. No one wants to make the mistake. Sona with a little probing ball forward. That will be a free kick. Dangerous position here for Gambia. And again, it's Colley at the heart of everything that's good that is happening to Gambia in this second half. Number 19, Adriano Delmiro Nicolau. Coming on for number 11. 
So then Nicolau coming on and it's Geraldo who's coming off. So then Nick Adriano, Bulamiro, Nicolau, better known as Yano, coming on for this last part of the game. The Gambia feeling time sliding away just three minutes plus whatever the uh, referee decides to add on at the end and we have had a few stoppages in the second period large wall Cisse bouncing around in front of it New rules this year about players not being allowed to mix up the wall. It's Toure with the shot straight into the wall. And then the follow-up shot goes also into a block. And Angola escape another Gambia attack. Sewn up, but Cisse was on the edge of the area, not on the penalty spot. And Tony Cabasa, unsurprisingly, wasting as many seconds as possible before falling in a heap on the ball. Just two minutes left. Of course, when the final whistle goes, it will still only be the half-time position of this uh, tie with the away leg still to come. As indeed is the case for all of the uh, 14 preliminary round ties happening through this week. Well, in the event, that was an important uh, header by uh, Jose Macaya. Send it back to the goalkeeper again. Goalkeeper not happy with uh, Cisse coming up and just swinging a foot at him. But uh, if you're going to waste time like that and invite the forward in, then you kind of got to expect them to uh, try and get the ball from you. Tom Saintief, the uh, coach of Gambia, giving the fourth official whatnot. Feeling the pressure much in the same way his team is. Long throw up front. Fabio Abrao picks it up for Angola. Just uh, less than a minute now to go. Plus time added on. And... Uh, Yano is caught offside in his first meaningful contribution to the game since coming on a couple of moments ago. Seconds to go. It's all or nothing now for the Gambia. If they want to get something out of this home tie in World Cup qualifying into injury time everybody getting forward now in a red shirt everybody in a white shirt getting back to defend the one nil lead long ball in headed back out again by bastos who's had an excellent game in the heart of that angolan defense no way through there bojan goes back and the crowd want the ball to go the other way So then you may have heard that four minutes of added time here. So there is still a little chunk of time for the Gambia to take advantage of. But they need to take advantage of it quickly because time is sliding away from them. In 
Long ball for Colley is there. It goes behind. It'll be a corner. Ibrima Colley won't need any encouragement. He wants to get on with it straight away. But at the moment, Cissé is the only man in the middle. And he's saying to his colleague, come on, calm down. Let the teammates get into the box as well to support. Colley then swings it in deep. And it's headed out again by Angola. Ball comes in. Cissé couldn't get there. And it's going to be another corner. Well, it looked for all the world there that that was going to find a red shirt. Three of them all in the right area. None of them, though, could stretch out a foot. Almost two minutes of the four gone. Colley again will send this in. It's another good ball in, but there's nobody in a red shirt within five metres of that cross. And it's taken away by Yano. Throw in. Cissé comes across to take it this time. Takes it long. That was not legal. But he's been allowed to get away with it. And it's over the top from Barrow. And the man who scored the winner against Algeria in the friendly last time out was all set there for another late burst of glory. And instead, he leaned back and shot it over the bar. Well, that surely was the chance. With only a minute or so left. Well, I would imagine that uh, the Gambia will actually be quite pleased under those circumstances that the referee has gone to see how the Angolan is because that was a woeful free kick forward. Omar Colley will be grateful to get another opportunity to provide something a little more meaningful. That's a better kick into the middle, but it's still met by an Angolan head. Not the best clearance, but Angola are going to get away with that. Yano now into Freddy to Makaya and they can bring the ball forward now with Isaac Carrera taking his time into the last 30 seconds in Bacow and the Gambia poached the ball again Cissé is there but so too is Bastos 20 seconds left Barrow again turns goalward Cissé needs to be in the box though, Cissé. There are three there though, if he can get the ball in. He can, but it's out by the goal scorer today, Wilson. And a free kick given away. And is that it as we tick past the 94 minute mark? We are now on the time added on to time added on. Ticking past five minutes of uh, added time at the end of the game. Let's not forget that this is still only going to be half time at the end of this match. Gambia will still have an opportunity to rectify things in the second leg. So by no means all hope should be abandoned by fans of the Gambia. Referee then blows, and uh, this should be pretty much the last kick of the game.
And the referee blows at the end of 90 fascinating minutes here in Bacow. It's Wilson's goal in the first half that separates the sides heading into the second leg next week in Luanda. It's finished here in Bacow. Gambia nil, Angola 1.